Oh yeah, I got 12 highlighters from the drugstore that we are gonna rank right now. Hi friends, we're going to be trying out 12 different formulas from the drugstore of highlighters, and I'm going to be telling you exactly why I love these, exactly why it's down lower in the ranking, and then what the number one is. And thanks so much for being with me for this video today. Let's get into the ranking right now. All right, starting out with the Maybelline Master Chrome formula, I have the rose gold and and i can't remember what this one is called i think this is the one that came out with nikki tutorials when they were very first bringing these out these are really pretty master chrome they're beautiful highlighters they are super intense and the reason that they did make it lower on my count isn't because of the formula it's just that you have to go really super light with those but wow look at the beam on those they're so pretty you can go really light with them to shear them out so that you just have a really light glow on your cheeks but you can build them up so if you want to wear these on your eyes you can definitely do that and i have these two colors because they suit my coloring the best but if you have other colors that you like definitely go for it because i think they're beautiful the next one up is from wet n wild this is their highlighting powder this color is blossom glow it is a very icy pink color i like the formula on this one as well but once again we're talking about a super high beam metallic and it is beautiful it's really pretty on the skin but you can get carried away with it that's why i'm ranking it a little bit lower because they're there are ones that just go on beautifully with no fuss about them. Even though I love these, it is just a little bit harder to regulate what you get out of this. You get just that glow automatically, which I do like, but I know that some people don't really like that one. That was number 11, and at number 10 is the e.l.f. ones. And these are their, I don't know if whether these are baked or not, but I hope that you guys can see. Can you see that pattern across there? What a high-end look for a highlighter. I do think that these are $8. You know, e.l.f. usually sticks around six, but I, around $6, but I do think that these are at the $8 price point. Again, this is a pretty strong highlight. However, we're getting more into my wheelhouse here. This one is just, it's a little bit more stiff when you stick your finger down here into the pan, but you get a lot up, just like you can see there, and it has this little tiny bit of a champagne property, but that is definitely where we're going with this. This is more of a glow instead of the high beam that you really have to work with, whereas this one, you could just dust it as much as you want, and you're not gonna look too much like a glowing disco, disco ball, or maybe like you have an oil slick on your face, but this is a beautiful highlighter as well. In at number nine, Nine is from Juvia's Place, and I need my glasses to see what this one is. This one is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3 by Juvia's Place. This is a gorgeous color. This formula is quite soft. Again, it's right here on my finger. I need to get one of my wipes out and <laughs> get those off. But this one, again, it's a little bit lower because of it being just so beaming. You could definitely wear this one across your eyes, wear it on your inner corner. It would be absolutely gorgeous to brighten up that inner corner and as a matter of fact let's just try that on the inner corner so i'm just taking a little pencil brush right here and i'm just going to brighten up that inner corner ever so slightly oh my goodness look at that isn't that amazing look how much that brightened compared to the other eye now i gotta do the other eye so i'm not off kilter here but that is a huge brightening isn't it but it's so pretty on the eyes and then i'll just kind of run this across here so i can tie the two looks together a little bit so beautiful i love that for an eyeshadow but it is a pretty highlighter as well coming in at number six is the milani duo and this one is in 110 supercharged one side is supposed to be cream and then the other side is supposed to be the powder although you know i don't feel like this one is a super creamy formula it just doesn't feel hyper creamy to me at all but in a lot of ways that's really good you get just the straight beam of light without having to show up any texture or anything and then you're supposed to take the powder product and either put it over top of it or use it in a multi-dimensional way. So you can see the two products there. The one is over here that is more along the lines of the pinky color and then the cream. So it does make a beautiful multi-dimension look. If you were gonna layer it and put one down below the other one, that would be absolutely beautiful on the skin as well. So let me really quickly demonstrate what I'm talking about. You can just go across the skin here. This one is the cream one that I'm putting across the skin. And then I'm gonna turn the brush over and I'm gonna get 
the powder one and I'm gonna that I got way too much sorry about that and I'm gonna just dust the powder across so you do get a multi-dimensional look I'm gonna save my other cheek for another one that I have so you can see you do get that multi-dimensional look I do like this one very much in at number seven is the pixie beauty these are the quads and these were sent to me by pixie I think these are so gorgeous. You do have every product in here that you need. You have the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighters. These highlighters are so pretty. Oh my word. They are that formula that I love about it just being the really soft highlight without having chunks of glitter in them. They're just glow across your skin. And I love these palettes. I think both of them are just incredibly pretty and they just hit the mark for me so well. And that is all right down there. I'm going to have to switch to the other arm here. They're just very, very pretty products and they don't show up any texture. And this one right here is called Honey Nectar. So that has the brighter pink highlight in it. And then the other one that is a little bit more cool toned that has a super bright uh, pink blush in there. And then it has the pink and the almost champagne gold color in there. Pretty, pretty. That one's called Sugar Blossom. So these are beautiful as well. I love their highlighters that they did. In at number six, I think I'm at number six. Yes, in at number six is from Koki. And this is the Soft Glow Highlighter. This color is called Heavenly. Again, this is kind of a champagne-y gold color. This is really beautiful. It but is more along the lines of that cream product. It is a little bit more gold than what I normally would like. But man, this formula is incredibly beautiful i think that they have three different colors of this one it's just so gorgeous the packaging on this looked so luxe when i got it and i love the way they packaged it but that product in there again it has that creamy consistency to where i just think it's just is really beautiful across mature skin so if you can get your hands on one of the koki highlighters soft glow highlighters i think that they did a really great job on those in at number five is this highlighter from flower beauty this is the original one i do think they have a little bit of a darker one now but these three colors are so good for being able to go across any skin tone you can swirl all three of these together or you can take each individual one and they're so pretty these again show up just that glow to them they're definitely not a highlighter that you're gonna have to fuss with they're so easy to work with and they're just a beautiful candlelight glow you can get these built up to be the metallic beam if you want that but this is just a really subtle highlight and that's why i love them. my friend andrea matalano this is her favorite one at the drugstore and she is absolutely right they're gorgeous number four is the essence pure nude and this one is their regular highlighter and this one is their space lighter space lighter i actually have on my eyelids today as part of my eye look it has this quality of being like a multi-chrome it has pink and purple and the icy color in it and it is absolutely beautiful i love that color and then if you haven't tried the nude this is one that went viral and there's a reason this is like your bridal candlelight glow and you cannot go wrong with this highlighter i seriously can't imagine how they can do this highlighter for five dollars it might be six dollars now but i don't think so it's just one of those ones that if you are somebody that is a mature woman and you feel like there is no way i can wear a highlighter give this one a try because again you're going to just get the glow you're not getting a reflect of a glitter or even a powdery look to your skin it's just going to give you a very soft candlelight glow I love that one. Now, number three is one that has been in my highlighter list forever. This is from Wet n Wild, and these are the Two Reflect palettes. They're called palettes because it's such a big highlighter. This is a baked highlighter that has the color swirled in it. This one is called I'll Have a Cosmo. And when I first got this one, it was really hard for me to get across that initial baked film that they have. But once you get down underneath that, it is kabow. It's so pretty. It is just a gorgeous highlighter. This is a soft pinky color and i have had the boozy brunch one which is a very gold one but this one just does my complexion perfectly again this is one that you can't really go wrong with because you're just putting on glow i mean you could build it up to where it was one that you know you could see from space if you wanted to but there's really no reason to when all you need is just that little bit of glow if you love highlights go for it build it up as high as you want to but this is just really pretty and i will try this one on for you because this is one of my favorites as well and oh my word oh my goodness 
it just has such a pretty glow so this one was the milani one and then this one is the wet and wild in at number two is from sydney grace and i need my glasses to see what color this one is this one is pink lightning this is a loose highlighter but this is an incredibly gorgeous highlighter i love her pressed highlighters as well but this one in the loose formula is so pretty you can overdo this one really easy this is one that you just have to be really careful with it's going to be one that oh my goodness look at the glow on that it's number two for a reason because i couldn't pick between number two and number one but i put this at number two because it's a little bit harder to get cindy grace seems to always be sold out but that just looks so pretty on the skin and you can see the glow for that if you're a mature woman and you feel like you know all highlighters really show up texture this might not be for you but i wear it all the time and i love the glow that it gives so this is one that i can highly recommend it's a beautiful color i think if you wanted any color out of her highlighters you would just find one that you just fell in love with beautiful beautiful product i love her products anyway but that highlighter is really something special as well and i put it at the drugstore because, because there's a lot of drugstore ones that kind of are around that price point but my number one had to be the super shock formula from ColourPop. i love these what this one is in if flexitarian and flexitarian is that champagne light 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 champagne, champagne gold and then smoke and whistles is one that is more of a pink icy color they're both so pretty in their own right but let me just swatch them for you the first one is going to be that flexitarian oh my goodness what's beautiful about these is that yes you're going to be able to get a beautiful beaming highlight out of there but you don't have to you can really just put them on super lightly if you want to and then the next one right here is smoke and whistles and the same goes for both of these actually i think smoke and whistles has a little bit more of a subtle quality to it but it does have that pink to it so both of those they're so pretty but smoke and whistles comes off just a little bit lighter than flexitarian flexitarian is beautiful but it does have a lot more glow to it than um, smoke and whistles does i love being able to go to the drugstore and have finds like this where it rivals high end they're beautiful they're glowy and they look so pretty on the Skin. So I hope that you're all doing really well. Do you have a drugstore highlighter that you can't put down that you're always reaching for over and over again? Let me know that in the comment section below. I would love to hear that from you. Thanks for spending a bit of your day with me. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, and I will catch you all in my next video. I love you a bunch. Bye-bye.